Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. We are back on the Union server today, and uh, this is episode 9. And today we're going to do a little bit more infrastructure, some things that are necessary. We have our nice Guardian farm over here, gets us some experience and all the Guardian loot that you get here. Some other things are here, but the one thing we're really needing before we can really make some of the big products we want to do is iron. So I think today we're going to use these villagers that are right here, and we're going to be making an iron farm. Now, I have heard from people that the iron farms don't work um, and that sort of thing. Now, I did go into a test world, and it worked fine for me with the design I use, and I've used it before. So we're going to set up just a basic iron farm for me to use. It's going to be over there where that island is right there where you have the uh, three torches. We're going to set up the killing area, and that will be where I can go to get the materials. So we're going to start that up in just a second before I do. I want to say thank you to everybody for liking the videos of this series. It's not the most popular series. Fullcraft is still a lot popular, but a lot popular is, is even more popular than this. But uh, this is going pretty well, too. So thank you, everybody, for your uh, support. Okay, so uh, let me uh, go and get some things, clear out my inventory, and reset a little bit. And then we're going to go and uh, start this project up. All right, for the killing mechanism, I know I'm going to need two chests here. And we'll keep the other chests on us because we're going to need a lot more chests than that. We're going to need made hoppers. So I have a redstone chest up here, but there's nothing in there. I believe I have a redstone box. Maybe this has some hoppers in it. We need ten hoppers. I have one. And a bucket of lava. We can kind of use that too. I'm trying to gather all the resources we need. My ooh, don't don't lose my hop my uh, thing. What I really want to have is I want to have a double chest. I want to have ten hoppers, a lot of glass, which okay, and four lava buckets and a whole bunch of signs. We've got seven. We've got all the signs we need. So really, we just got to make some chests and make up the hoppers. So we'll do that right now. We'll make some chests. Like I said, I need, I believe, uh, ten hoppers. Okay, so let's grab some iron here. We don't have a lot of iron. We have some blocks. I've converted it to blocks to save some space, and that's okay. So let's go with this here, and then let's make... No, we don't need that many. We just need nine more. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put the iron back. Let's go and get this uh, killing mechanism set up first, okay? Actually, no. Let me take that back. We've only got one lava bucket. I would like to get one more lava bucket. So let's make the bucket, and we'll go and find some lava first, and then we'll be able to uh, go and get what we want. There, put this away. Okay. Okay, here we are. We're going to put down two chests. There we go. That's the double chest. Now we're going to make the mechanism going into it. Basically, that'll be where the wall is. So the killing area is three by three, so there's three and three. Get rid of that torch there and three okay so that's the killing area now on top of that we're going to start right here and we're going to basically go around the whole entire thing here okay now the golems are three blocks high okay so you got to make it so the lava can kill them but their drops will go down into the hoppers when they die okay and the way you do that is since they're three high you put the signs here. Now these signs hold the lava back, okay? So if you think about it, if they're standing three high, they're standing here, their block is here where the lava can't go, their head is actually sticking in the lava. So they're taking the damage, and that's what you want. So that way they get killed, and then you get the loot, okay? So there's the signs, and now what we need to do is make this go higher. And we can go as high as we want. I'm not going to go too high because it's just a pain. Make it very high. And this is just going to be a single village farm. Okay, now if you see here, we can have a place where you can put some lava. This gets dangerous, so <laughs> a little scary. Put one there, and I always put one over here. There we go, and there we have the place that they can fall into. And when we do that, I'm going to probably go one glass level higher than this one. But that'll be it. That'll be where everything is uh, for them to die. So one more. Here's our layer here. Let's just get this up. And then the farm will be above this, okay? Now, the tricky part of the whole farm really isn't this or the building it. It's getting the villagers, which we'll have some sort of track, and we'll have to get them over here. And I may not have enough for what I do. I should, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Let me uh, go get more materials now to build this out. I would like to make it something nice. I might make it out of stone brick or something else. I'm not quite sure. Let me go see what kind of material I have, and uh, we'll go from there. 
looking at my supply of materials, I really have a lot of the smooth stone blocks that we made with the elytra farm a few episodes back. So I'm going to grab these as the base for the block. We'll also grab some stone slabs. We're going to need more of that, but I'll see how it is as we go. Also, I think I'm going to take some seed lanterns to light the place up. So uh, we're going to start to build this out. I'll have to get some more materials here and there. But we're so far, we're doing really well on that. We'll see how it goes. Let me get back up there and start to build out the base. This is one of the spawning platforms. It's 19 by 19, which is really 8 and 8, which makes 16 plus 3 by 3, which is 19. Okay. Now, I covered this over with some uh, sea lanterns so I knew which, where the blocks were because right below that's lava. I don't want to fall into lava. So now i got to work on the walls. And what i found is if you do this pattern here, do a little like plus sign, okay, what this does is you're going to have an exterior wall going along here, and this is where you put water sources so it actually maps out correctly. So I'm going to go and put these down. I'll do one over here, okay. And then what you do is do one more here. On this outside edge here, you fill in all the blocks to make a wall. And we're going to make it three high. Now, one of the other things that I do then is on the second layer. I'll do the second layer now. I always put, not on this block here, right, right there, but one in. I always put a light source, okay? And then I put one right in the center line, and I put one on right there, okay? So then when you fill this in here, let's do this real quick, you have a wall, okay? It's pretty easy to do, okay? And then you just do one more level up, and that'll be the actual wall for the bottom layer of the iron farm, which is pretty easy to do. So I'm going to go around. I'm going to do the rest of the walls, all three of those, and then we'll be back to this point. And then uh, I might have to go get some doors. I think doors would be useful. Yep. Wow. This is starting to look really good. I like this block. I mean, I know it looks like stone slabs, but I like the way it looks on the side. This looks really, really, really cool. Lots of reallys there. Uh, but normally you put the water sources in here and they go right up to the edge and dump the uh, iron golems in and we're, you know, getting iron. So the next part here is going to have to be building up these columns up here, okay? So what I do is I put one out, okay? And I go up, there's two. And I go up one more and then I put over two, okay? And, and it's kind of a structure that looks like this, okay? Make sense? So I'm going to do that on all the corners, and this kind of starts the, where the doors go, okay? This is kind of necessary for what we're trying to do is block some water. So, And I'll show you that in a little bit. But I'm going to make up these columns, and then we're going to go get those doors and get those put in. I'm going to go with spruce doors, I believe. And there they are right there. We need, what is it, 16 per side, so 64 doors. And we still don't have enough. Oh, we do have enough. We have <laughs> more than enough. I shouldn't have uh, done that. That's okay, we'll put some of this over here. There we go, into the spare drawer. We're gonna go back up, we're gonna start to place the drawers, and uh, this uh, drawers, the doors. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. So yeah, we're gonna place these, and we're gonna have an iron farm really soon. I'm looking forward to this. You can kind of see it as we go up here. Uh-oh, and it's getting dark. Let's go back down. <laughs> uh, oh, there's Thomas, Thomas is sleeping, okay. Well, thank you, Thomas, for sleeping. Let's uh, continue on working on this. And uh, this will be very cool when we get it done. One tip that I have with these doors is you will want to have, and this is what I'm doing right here, like maybe a ledge or something that you can work with so that you can do what you need to do without like falling off. And so I'm finishing up my ledge right now. Oops, that doesn't go there and doesn't go there either. Wow. Misclick like crazy. But anyway, let me do this side here since I did this real quick. Okay, so you're going to put down eight doors. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I put two glass. This is kind of like where the villagers, I mean, they don't have to glass or anything like that, but I like to put it there so that they can uh, be looking in, if you will. Okay? And then I always put slabs on top. Okay? And this is what I'm going to do on each of the sides so that we have this basic structure fully enclosed. And then we're going to have to build the cubbies out for, oops, that doesn't go there, for the, uh, villagers and then we can do the center floor up the top layer and this will be almost done so let me just get this all to the next stage where the glass is i usually put a spot like that of three blocks okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to make a block here well i actually do that so that i can go over here and grab here we already have one here where i pillowed up so that's okay we're making just a little three by one hole for these uh villagers because you know they need to be able to see in there and see the iron golems that are 
helping them. Actually, let's go up here. Okay, there we go. Okay, I got a phone call coming in. I'm recording people. You can't do that. So anyway, you do that, and then you're good. You can put the villagers in this area. Just capping the doors. We're getting there, folks. The uh, cubbies are all in. Now we have to do the floor here for this level, okay? And we basically want to make the whole thing with a 3x3 three three spot. It shouldn't take that long, but you just got to be careful how you do it. The first edge, the outer edge, you don't want to open the doors. I mean, you could, but uh, it looks better if you don't have them open. So we're just going to go around here and try to get this all the way around like that. And then we're going to go clear around and fill it in, just like I said, so we have a 3x3 three three gap. Then it should be just a matter of putting in water streams. And after we do that, then we get the fun part of moving villagers. So let me finish this up, and we'll show you how it looks after I get done with this step. So I made some more changes. I put three blocks on the inside. This is so the water streams will work right. And then I have, going around here, I'm going to put up this fence. This is to prevent spawning up here of mobs. Okay. So the iron fence is pretty important. Now, before I had it just to keep the water from flowing out, and we had the half slabs, but I found that the water logging was a little bit weird, and it's causing some issues. So I'll just, uh, oops, that's not what you want. I just thought I would put up these fences all the way around. So it, it works out. So we're going to put the water down in just a second here for the, each of the layers. And then it'll be time for uh, the villagers. That's the hard part. Okay, so we got this all done. Okay. Now, we're going to hit put water down here. And don't put it on the slab. Put it against the block. Okay. And if you put every one, then you skip and go. See? Because it forms a water source. And if you do it right... Everything should work out, and this whole thing should go right up to the edge, okay? Now, what happens if it doesn't? Well, it would normally then flow down into your lava, but since I have it covered, that's not a problem. So just go along, go and put down all the water, like that, okay? And now in the corner, just put one up top. And you kind of see it pushes you in the direction of the hole. And it'll do that for the golems as well. So I'm going to finish up putting all the water up here, and all the water down there and then we're gonna do the villager move what I'm doing right now is getting a staircase set up here to go all the way up to where the uh, village villager um, cubbies are sorry if I'm a little bit distracted I want to make sure I get this right I gotta get them up to that location and that's the hardest part at the moment and my keyboard doesn't seem to be working right I'm trying to there it goes okay and so we're going to do this. Now all I have to do is go from over there where the villagers are and run a line over and up to this area. And we're going to wrap this around and we've got to put it for all of the villagers. Okay. So I've got to first design this in a way that will work. And I'm a little concerned about that. This is going to be kind of crazy. Um, so let me, let me build this track out and do a couple test runs before I come back. Just so I know what I'm doing before we actually do it. <laughs> Okay, we're going to try this out. If you see this, the course goes up and it goes all the way around. We're going to fill up this cubby first. The track goes all the way over here, over to where the villagers are. Now, I have basically divided this section up in here. So I got only four. It looks like I have four more there. We have three and three. So four, three, four, three is what we're going to try to do here. And I put a basic track down. So what we're going to have to do is try to get these guys out of here on a track, okay? And try to do one at a time. That's not what I wanted. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to put a block right here to block them out. And we're going to try to get somebody in this section right here. Okay, and then I'll go one at a time. This is kind of like an airlock. I'll put another block here so they can't get out. And we'll send it on through. Okay, so that's what we're going to do here in just a second. Let's see if I can do this here. Okay, we're going to put a turn here. Okay, and we're going to go across. Now this guy isn't in a... Uh, minecart yet so that's a problem so hopefully we can get him in one pretty quick okay yeah i see you buddy here go get going to get get in the minecart can we push it i don't want to fall in there yet this is the difficult part if i can get him in then we're good uh well let's see if i can i can i ride it and then get out of it let's ride this way write it back and then get out there we go we got him okay excellent 
Now, can we... Uh oh I fell down in. Can we push him along? Can I get out? There we go. I'm out. They shouldn't be able to get out of there, but I'm going to uh, break this anyway. And then put a block down. Oh, not all of my blocks. Okay. So he's there. He's waiting to go. I'm going to put a block down here as a breaker. There we go. Break this one. Put a track down. And send him on his way. First guy is on his way. And there we go. Now... We're going to get up there in just a second. We're going to follow him. We're a little slow. Bye-bye, guy. See you later. Okay, so he's going to go all the way around. And uh, when we get done with the one section, then I'll just take down that section. I'm going to back the track out, okay, if that makes any sense. So now i got to run all the way around. Almost there, everybody. This is kind of a longer clip. Mostly because it's going to take me a little bit. But if it works, then I can just start to work on it and I'm going to have to worry. Okay, so he's out, right? Okay, so he's out of here. Now, I want to destroy the um, nether rack because I have him fall down. Let's grab that. And, buddy, you can go down in there. And one done. Okay, let me go get the next three for this area. With that, should be four right there. There's one there, one there, and there should be two right there. It's hard to see. I've done four. So where's the th other one? I would have thought he would have been there. Hey, you can see there's a white and a brown right there. And two greens. So that's right. Okay. So now this whole thing can be taken down in just a second. I need to actually not take it all down yet. Because I do have to put the stone slabs here. Which I think I have on me. Yes, I do. Okay, so we're going to cap these guys in there. No mobs will spawn on top. There we go. And now I can clean this up. This is the next thing. It's just going backwards. Clean this whole track up back to the next place, making another cubby. And, of course, getting all of our <laughs> trash that we're putting down in the ocean right now. We'll come back and get that in a second. But that's it. So that one's done. So I'm going to work on the other ones here. And hopefully soon we'll have all of this thing up and running. And we can see it work and verify that it works. There we go. Don't make sure I want to get sure I, I get my uh, redstone. That'd be good to get. Okay. So there we go. And now we're going to build out build out the uh, shelter, the little frame that I had here so we don't lose guys. Okay. And it's getting dark. Just like that. Okay. Let's go down here. Let's get some of the stuff. Oops, swimming. Hopefully someone uh, sleeps. I don't care about this as much as I need to get over there so I can sleep. Because um, mobs can get there. So if I sleep, then the mobs won't spawn. Oh, Thomas. Thomas for the win. Thank you, Thomas. Okay, let me get the other others done here. And here is number three for this side. And that's all we wanted. There we go. Good side is done. And now we'll go and grab our cap. And we'll lock them in. Ooh, don't do that. That could have been bad, right? There we go. Okay, now we're just going to tear this down. Do the same thing on the next one. I won't show you that. We're going to do four over there, and then three over there, and then this should be done. You can hear them. They're having fun with their doors. They love doors. <laughs> be back in a bit. This is the last villager to go in. And once he's in, there we are. Okay, once that's done, I can get rid of all of this and clean this all up, including all the track that I made. And while we're doing that, we'll see if anything spawns. Hopefully something will. I'll get rid of that. So we'll see how this goes. I'm hoping that, because uh, it worked in my test world, but I don't know. I don't need feather. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, like I said, clean this up. And we'll see how this goes. Hopefully we'll have some drops. And if I can catch it on camera, I will show you. But uh, we'll see. Okay, let me get this all cleaned up. And you can see one burning up right over there. Definitely had an iron golem spawn. Okay, let me finish cleaning. But we have it working. So I've been AFK for a little while while I went to work. To show you what the drop rates are for this. So a normal business day, 8 hours plus commute time, 9 or 10 hours. And let's see what we have inside here. The uh, chest should have a bunch of drops. Hopefully have a lot. We'll see. So, opening it up. There we are. It looks like we have a couple stacks of poppies and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, almost 7 stacks of iron. So that's a really good drop.
the cleanup is done. Let's go over to the iron farm and just see what's done. Probably only had one so far because it's been such a short time. But we're going to go look. It's just nice to know that this thing is here and we have it. And we can slowly get some iron. It's not as efficient as some of the other farms you've seen out there. But uh, it will do for me. So let's see what's going on here. I've already got five iron from it. That is excellent. So it's working fantastic. This little island is needs to be lit up a little bit better. Little dark spots out here. I don't want to have anything out here causing any issues. Okay, there we go. So I think, I think this is done. Right there. That's a great thumbnail right there. Okay. So anyway, hey. This is fantastic. What a great project. And we were able to get it done in one video. And now we'll have iron so we can start making hoppers. And then we can get some good redstone projects going. That's fantastic. I can't wait. So, uh, yes, it's time for the uh, closing here. If you, right there, I see you, like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon. The little bell icon turns on all notifications so you don't miss anything. And you get to see all the great videos that I produce. Also, I want to remind you that I will be at Mine Fair in Chicago on September 8th and 9th. So if you're in the area, come on out. Say hi. Love to meet you. Love to talk with you a little bit about Minecraft. So uh, hope to see you then. Okay, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.